Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. Today I am playing with three coordinating products, the Harvest Rainbow Stamp Set, Die Set, and the Layered Rainbow Stencil Set, which all work great together. Here you can see the amazing Harvest Rainbow Stamp Set. I'm gonna be using those solid arches of the rainbow that are made out of leaves and its coordinating die set as well as this layered rainbow stencil set to make today's card. I also have some rainbow colored inks in a dark color and a light color to create my rainbow today. So there you can see all of the Altenew inks that I'll be using. Here is that stencil set again. I love that the lines are etched on it, which, make, which makes it really easy to create a completely stenciled rainbow. But today I am going to stencil, stamp, and die cut out the arches of my rainbow. I'm using rouge ink for my red, and then I'll be stamping on the top of this later with velvet ink. Next, I have my sun-kissed ink for my orange arch of my rainbow and I'm using autumn blaze to stamp on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and do my purple arch here. You see I have a purple one up in the right hand corner. That actually was the wrong size of purple so I had to redo it here and also I got a much better ink coverage the second time so that was a bonus. Next I have citrus burst ink for my yellow. I'll stamp over the top of that with honey drizzle. And then I'm going to add another arch of the rainbow onto the other side of the cardstock using up all that cardstock space. This is Dewdrop ink, and I'll use Galactic Stream over the top of that for the stamping here in a moment. Then I have Frayed Leaf ink for my green arch, and I'll be going over the top of that with Evergreen ink. And now it is time to do the stamping. So I'll be using my Misty to do this just to make it a lot easier. And you can see here these uh, stamps are really stretchy. So you want to be sure to use that stenciled piece to get this lined up and even the die to make sure it's laid out in a way that you'll be able to die cut it when you're done. So here I am doing the stamping. This is velvet ink and I did find it worked really well to use the pressure tool and even stamp this two times with my Misty to get a really nice crisp impression of these solid leaves stamping them over the top of that lighter arch of the rainbow. Next we have our orange bow of the rainbow or arch and I am using my orange color this time to get that pretty double, it's like layered color. I love the, the light with the dark. I just love it. And here is the Andromeda ink for my purple arch and the wisteria is the color in the background. And I'm not necessarily going in rainbow order because I have more than one of these on the page, but you uh, saw all the colors at the beginning there and really just use whatever ink pads that you have on hand to do this. And you'll be amazed because each of the arches of the rainbow in this stamp set have different leaves on them. So it's just so fun to see them all stamped out. You could definitely use these stamps without the background of the stenciling and die cut them out that way too. It's just really fun to play with and mix and match these three different products. So here you can see all the dies and then all the pieces die cut out. I think it's so gorgeous, so much fun. I love it. All right. So so now we're going to work on the background. I have a very light blue piece of cardstock that I've cut to four and three fourths by six and three fourths, and I'm using my Puffy Cloud six by nine stencil and some Dewdrop ink to create this background. So this stencil works great for all sizes of cards, even slimline. I love that so much, and I can repeat um, this same pattern of the cloud stencil just by flipping the stencil over. So I'm going to do four or five rows of the stencil here, but I was able to use the same stencil just by rotating it and by flipping it over. And I got a gorgeous cloudy background that's pretty subtle and it actually is going to dry back a tiny bit lighter than you see here. There you can see it. And then I'm just going to go over the very bottom so that part is not so stark. And then I'm even going to give a little dusting of that color down both of the sides of the card to soften those edges out as well. 
gorgeous. I just love a stenciled cloudy background. They're so amazing. All right, if you know me, you know that I love splatter. So I'm taking some gold metallic watercolor paint and splattering that on my sky. I just thought some gold accent for a fall card would be really fun. So that's why I picked gold and I splattered that on there in um, a really light mist with this smaller scraggly paintbrush. And then I have a larger brush and I went over it again with that to get just a little bit bigger of a splatter. I'm going to cover up a lot of it, so it was okay for me to put a lot of it on there. Next, speaking of rainbows, I am pulling out this Slimline Rainbow die set from Trinity, one of my favorite all-time die sets. It has this long cloudy border and I die cut that so I could have a cloudy border at the bottom of my card. I die cut out some extra pieces of the rainbow and glued them to the back just to make these pieces a lot more sturdy and it raises them up off the card just a little bit so I don't have to worry about putting like a ton of foam squares on there to give them a little bit of lift. And then once those were glued to their um, matching piece, I laid the clouds at the bottom of the card but did not adhere it just as a guide so I could go ahead and add in each of those rainbow pieces. And they're going to overlap just a tiny bit. I wanted them in there pretty snug, so I actually had to hold those in place for just a second longer than I normally would, and it ended up being such a gorgeous rainbow. I had so much fun making this, and um, I just love all the endless possibilities you can have by mixing these three different products together. I gave a little dusting of that dewdrop ink around the bottom and sides of this cloud as well. And then I'm going to stamp a sentiment, the only sentiment in this stamp set, onto that same light blue paper, and I'll emboss it with some gold embossing powder. And it says, you are a blessing. And what is really cool is that the coordinating die set for this stamp set actually has two dies for the sentiment. This one here is going to detail cut this out so amazingly well. I was so impressed with this. Check out what it looks like once it's all die cut out. It even goes in between the words. Look at that. But it's all one piece. And then I die cut out a darker blue color background for that, and I will set that on my card. I also decided I needed a little bit more uh, puffy clouds, so I added a little extra piece there in the middle. And then I have two scraps of cardstock that I'm gluing to the back of the clouds to raise them up a little bit higher than my rainbow, because remember each of those arches had a piece glued to the back of it. So adding two layers makes this just a hair higher. And then I'll trim off any excess that hangs off the edge, and then my card is ready for a little bit more. <laughs> So in this stamp set, there are a bunch of tiny leaves and I wanted to have the leaves look like they're falling from the sky and I stamped a different leaf in each of the rainbow colors. Now, you know, once you make a card, you always think, oh, I wish I would have. I wish I would have spaced these out a little bit more and not cluster them so close together. I think I would have liked that look a lot better and it would have had more of a feel of falling leaves, but I love the idea so much. I love rainbow and I think incorporating it in these rich dark fall colors is so much fun. And then you can see I carried the leaf stamping down farther on the card with the lighter colors. I also popped up that sentiment with a foam square, and now I'm taking some glaze to go over each and every arch in this rainbow. I wanted it to really stand out, and I felt like it just needed a little something extra in order to stand out from the background. So I covered each of them, <laughs> and while that was drying, I decided to stamp out the pumpkin from this set just because this set is so fun, and that pumpkin is so cute, and it's a layering set. So I stamped out the pumpkin that's solid in a lighter color of orange, orange cream, and then I'm using a darker orange to go over the top of that to add in that detail, and this is fire brick. Now, I stamped out four of them, but will actually only use three of them on my card, and I'll I cut that out with the coordinating die.
it's perfect. So those are going to be put on the card around my sentiment with some foam squares. I did just one on that right hand side and then I'll add the other two on the left just because I like my embellishments in like groupings of three. So you can see the arches of my rainbow are still a little bit wet so I'm going to give that more time to dry and then I'll show you what it looks like all dry in the final photos of this card. There it is. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. I love this harvest rainbow. What a clever idea and so much fun. I love rainbows so much. And so having this new concept of a fall rainbow made out of leaves, oh my word, it's so clever. I'm loving it. So thank you so much for stopping by and letting me share these cool new things with you. If you would like more inspiration from Trinity Stamps, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook. And here's a couple other videos you might like as well. Thanks for watching and happy stamping. Bye.